Hello, this is Andrew, and I just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you. I want to thank you so much for everything you do to help us get the Word of God out. That's the most important thing that we could ever do. That beats any job, any other vocation you could have. And I just appreciate you more than I could ever communicate. So Jamie and I wanted to say Merry Christmas to you. We're believing the best for you for a great new year sharing the gospel. And we praise God for you. I believe that your rewards are out of this world. God is going to bless you big time. God bless you. Glory to the newborn King, Christ Jesus is born. Andrew Womack Ministries and Caris Bible College, Uganda, wishes you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. May this season bring you joy and happiness. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our broadcast of the Gospel Truth. Today I'm beginning a series that I've entitled Lessons from the Christmas Story for Every Season. It's kind of a Strange title, but it's very descriptive of what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be going through the story of Jesus' birth. But you know, I really dislike the way that in some ways people have taken the message about the birth of Jesus. Listen, him coming to this earth and have turned it into just things that they use at a certain time of the year. To create a mood and they miss many of the awesome truth. So I mean powerful, powerful truths that are in this message of Jesus coming to this earth. And they use these things just to kind of create an atmosphere. And so we aren't going to be doing just the typical stuff. I'll be going through the typical scriptures. But we are going to be teaching some things and, and changing a lot of attitudes about this whole story. And so we're going to be going through the traditions about Christmas that actually have gutted a lot of the power that is really contained in these scriptures. And I'm going to be countering some of those things. Before I get right into that, let me just say this, that I've been all over the spectrum in my way that I respond to uh, Christmas. Of course, when I was a little kid, I was brought up, I guess, probably typical to most people here in the United States, and I believed in uh, Santa Claus and the whole uh, nine yards, and I mean, Christmas was just a really, really uh, exciting time and it was about all of the traditions and stuff and very little of it had to do with God. And it was explained and it was present but it wasn't the focal point for me as a kid. 
kwa gamba chan bachi nyonyoranga nti echo wechiri era sekukuru weri nenze techakolanga makuru nyo jendi ngo mwana after my dad died i remember not long after that that i actually nzenjukira nti netata wange bwe yafate wayi takasera kawamvu talk to my mother my brother was still living at home my sister had already left by that time njukira nayoga yako ne mama wange mugana ngo mulenzi yali achali wo mwanyina fo muwale yali avudde wa kasera ako but i remember talking to my mother and saying you know christmas really isn't about all of this other stuff nenjukira okugana mama wange ne mugama nti naye sikukuru teri kubino byo nabyo nabyo tulabo olwalero and uh, it seems like there was pressure to always try and get a bigger better gift kubanga nalaba ngandu za bambi kabanga kazito jali nga bulikasera ageza ko kufuna ebirabe bisinga ko then you gave the year before and it became a a problem kumwaka atoguwedde kwigama nagendo kuwetegereza nga kifuzo kizibu jali so as i think i was either 12 or 13 years old noza naine miyaka nga 10 nebiyo ba 10 esatu ejo bukuru I talk my family and let's not give presents to each other let's just take the money we'd have spent and give it to the church Nenze ke nyini nasomesa amaka ewaffe nemba gamanti atrekerawo ku yono na sente ngatwe gulire bilabo fefe kana feka netu kwate sente zo tuzigatu wa mutu ziweyo mu kanisa put it into a mission program tuziteke mu nteka teka ze bibinsani and so we did that so I I went Norecho chichetuakora. From one extreme over here to nearly another extreme. Neva kuruyo ulumu atene nzira daraka tukuruyo ulala. Then when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When nafuna nukubatiziwa ila nukujuziwa umoyo mutukufu. And I became fanatical about the Lord. I mean. Uh, Nenja kala nyo ebi nitu yamu kama chentegeza. Nothing else mattered to me about but Jesus. And I didn't just worship Jesus on a certain day. Tewali kitu kyo nacha alichikola makulu mu bulamu bwange era Yesu Samu sinzanga munna kunonde mu once a year i mean every single day i was fanatical about the lord so really christmas oluna kulumu mu mwaka nze buli runako kati rwai lukola makulu mu bulamu bwange kati norecho sekukulu just lost nearly all significance to me yatandi ko kubanga te cha ina makulu go nagendi when my kids came along we did still exchange gifts Abana bange we bajja ewaka era kale twaga banange ebirabo and we justified it by saying that this was the day set aside for Jesus birth ilecho twachi simba nganga tuga amanti oye lwe tunona ku lwebate account Yesu re yazalibwa and so we had a birthday cake we always made a birthday cake for Jesus norecho twateke kawo kone ku cake norecho yo cake yalinga ya mazalibwa ga Yesu and we shared presents based on the scripture Netugabana ne bilabo era ngi bya wandiko ebitugamba. That if you do it unto the least of these you've done it unto me so it was Jesus birthday we give presents to our kids and nti wochikole eri abato obochikoze jendi Yesu watu wagama nocho twagaba ne bilabo na abana bafe. We did things like that. Ne bintu ebiringe ebyo. But we didn't have a Christmas tree we didn't observe a lot. Nete twali na bukomera buno we basimba ku Christmas tetwakola bingi of the stuff because it was just it wasn't about the lord it was pagan in origin byali bintu byabutakiriza erango bintu yensibuko yabyo and please don't uh, write into me about this sagara no banange kino mu chinteke ko chenjogera i'm not here trying to make a statement about anything i'm just telling you sigeza ko kuba ko byensimba ne chemba gamba that i have been all over the place ntimbadde mu bifo binji in this and we just focus completely upon jesus ngera esira twali tekanga ku yesu as my kids got older they came to me and they said and this is when we moved out of the place we live now na bana bange nwe bakula bajja jendi olunga tumazo kusenka ne tugenda mu kifoka timwe tuli esawe eno we got 26 acres and all of these beautiful evergreen trees ekifo kiriko yika abiri mu mukaga kiriko ne miti emirungi ejamanyi and stuff and they said we know that the christmas tree isn't really a um, godly symbol abana bange bangama nti akatuchimanyi ntino buno bukomera sike kabonero akalaga obwa katonda 
And again, there's people that argue over this. Martin Luther really promoted the Christmas tree and and Manyinde ya wadu wakati abachikaya na kecho na inga ato musajwa kubayita Martin Luther ye ya tandika okubanga akungilize bintu byobu komerebio. Tried to sanctify it and uh, Aka komero kafura katukuvu you know, whitewash it by uh, talking about how it's evergreen. And na kaletero kulabi kanti chamanyi nyokuru na kurase kukuru mungeri jiba katona atona mu. Putting lights on it symbolizing the light of the world. But if you continue to follow. Nebaka teka ko obu taranga chino chichi ikirida okuba echitanga lechensi nebu singo chigende buziba. The use of it, it was a pagan custom the whole Christmas time. Omuga sogu waka kumira kano kabanga. Chintu cha kuzisibu wanga bantu abali watakiriza elebi serebio. It was a pagan time. The Yule ser- uh, season is when the pagans worshipped the sun god. Kari kalombo lombo kaba abantu abali watakiriza katonda. Ngera chino bachu kwe sangechi sera okusinza katonda wabwe owebi tangara. And as Catholicism came in and people converted to Christianity. Katiobu katulichibwe wajia abantu nebalo koka nebafuka ba kristayo. Uh, they were used to this holiday. They Bali ba manye dobo lombo lombo wawe vuli. Loved it with all the festivities and so the Catholic Church. Nti boba afunanga ena kwe zoku umura na evi kujuke evi enja ulo. Norecho ekanisa haba katulichi. Just basically established that time of the year as the birth of Jesus which most people, uh, most scholars believe that it didn't take place in December at all. Yone simba ebi serebe bio kumura nevi kujuko okuteka mulu na kunti yesu wea zari wanenga abasinga abasomi baby tabo tebakiri zanti unakuruwari mchiserecho. And uh, the Catholic Church just established it at that time in, in order to counter the pagan rituals. Na ekati yo ekanisa wakatulichi ya simba oru na kuluruachi okugeza ako kutangira obulombolombo bunobwari abuaba antuwa batakiriza. And so give them some of the same festivities and stuff. Okubanga webu singo kore wanaiba ba weyo evi kujuko nevi nina kwe ziri ingezo. But just whitewash it and somehow or another sanctify the whole thing. Na ekati ulichimucho naba chichuse nga dechia kore wa mubulombolombo wabwe na eva chikore mungkola eyobu waka tonda. So anyway, my kids came to me and said, we understand all of this, but we just think it's pretty, could we have one? Norechi habana bange vajja jendi nange ni vangama, chino tuchite gira neche tugamba, na fetu sobolo kubayo neche intuwechiti. I said, well, as long as you understand all this, so anyway, for the last, I don't know, Nemba gamba te wali buzibu singa marani mutegera ama kuru gebe vyo na norecho ena kuwa bangeri sewo. Why what period of time but since my kids were probably teenagers. Sima nyika sera chii na yu kufadaraba na wangabatini. Or something like that we have had a Christmas tree. Tubadenga tujanga tufuna obu komera buno. So anyway I've been all over the place. I can agree with those who. Chenga manti minobyo nabyo nambi yisemu era nzikitiziganya nabu na. Are upset with all of the commercialism and the paganism and the. Habakiriza binobyo nevi ebikole waku nakura sekukuru nevi byo nevi into ebili ebi abatakiriza. Other things and I can appreciate what they're saying. I've been on the other side. Ina sobola nangu kubanga insamu echi tiba byo nabyo 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 gera kubayo nayo namba deyo. Uh, but I as I've gotten older here's basically where I've settled at the moment. Ne buli wengenze nga nkula katichino chengu mideko ya kasera kano. That even though I recognize that there's a lot of ungodliness and a lot of carnality. Ne wankuba denga katinchitege ila ntu waluwe vintu vinji nyo evitalibi ya wakatonda ne vintu nga vya mubiri. You know there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of family problems. Manyide dana ntu waluwa kazitoka ama njine evi zivu mumake evi, evi enja ulo. So it happened around Christmas time. I think statistically Christmas time is the highest uh, rate of suicide rate of any. Ebitu kawo mukasera kana akase kukuru era mukunonyereza balaga anti akasera kase kukuru kano abantu abasinga mu betira. Time because of multiple factors. Okusinga akasera kalala kona. Olwensonga nneze nja ulo. But despite all of the negatives associated with it Na yenge ila wo, ne wankubadebe vyo na evi ntuwe bivi, evi esigami oba evi li muna kuzineza sekukuru. 
I have just gotten to a place that man to walk into a mall or into a store. Nze ntu seira aka seira nga wenyingi la sema duka wabayo na jibatu ndile bintu. And to hear people playing Christmas music. Ne mpulira abantu nga bata deke nyimba zineza sekukuru. I mean songs that glorify God like the hallelujah chorus. And... Chenga ama ante nyimba zinozo na ezite ndeleza katonda kati ngana fe wanoze tulina. Joy to the world. And things like that. Neru no nakura sekukuru rama zari wa ngezo. I love that. I just don't care what the thing is that occasions it. Nange bino bi mbiaga la nyera bi nyumira nyo sifayo oba bi chibi onabi onabi bagata mwe bilala. The results of it. I love that. Na ye e chiva mumu bi onanzi nange mbiaga la. The fact that people are talking about Jesus Amazima okubante abantu abo gira kuyesu Coming to this earth and of course it's mixed in with this fat man in the red suit Nti ya jakunsi ni wankubadeka ti ya ateba bigata mono musajyo munene ya yamba de suit ya miufu And all kinds of other things Nebi ntwe vila lebi enja ulu And um, some people just want to throw the baby out with the bath water Abantu abamu buba baba agaranga okuteka abana bato mumazi I'm not in agreement with all of these things, but I tell you what, I love anything. That causes people to be more focused on God. It seems like it's easier to witness and talk to people about the Lord. And at Christmas time because of their focus and so you know what I've just gotten to a place to where uh, praise God despite all of the junk uh, I still think that it's a great time of the year but I do use the word of God. And I try to be accurate by the word of God. And some of the things that I'm going to say. As we start through this Christmas story. And start looking at what the scripture has to say about it. There's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to counter. Uh, traditions. And I know that there's some people that just, well, this is the way it's always been. We've always sung these songs and we've always done this. And yet it doesn't line up with scripture. And there's a lot of people that just don't like this. They like their traditions. This is the way it's been taught them since they were a little kid. But And most people just do not let the Bible get in the way of what they believe. But I tell you what, I think that we, I think that we ought to let the word of God be accurate. And this message of Jesus coming to the earth is so powerful that we don't have to change it. To make it somehow or another better. It's better the way that it's written. You know, I'm not going to focus on this. I'm not going to major on it. But let me just say some things real quickly. You know, I'm using this book. Uh, it's called The Life for Today Study Bible. And it's the gospel edition. It's over uh, 600 pages. And it's the gospel edition. It's over 
And this is a book that it took me and my staff about six, I think it was at least six, might have been eight years. Nga chitabo nino chino okuchua ndi kanyuzo gama ntinze naba antuwa benja urubeyo nkola na bo. Chatuwa ide miaka nga mukaga oboli yao munana. Okubanga tuchimaliliza. And one of the unique things about it is that I put the Gospels in their chronological order. Nga echimu kubintuwe benja ule chitabo chino vichirina. Ntituwa kwa ata ebitabo bino ebienjiri netubiteka mu. And sometimes it's a little hard when you have the story uh, recorded in four different Gospels. And you're going, you know, you read through Matthew and then back Mark and then Luke and then John. It's a little hard to get them all together. This one puts them in their exact chronological order. And on one page. You have everything that either that any of the four gospel writers have to say about a specific subject. And you have it right here on one page, and it really helps you to get things and put them in their proper order. And things like this. And so, let me just mention some things quickly. I might as well get this out of the way. I'm not going to focus or major on this because there's so many powerful things to talk about. But you know, they. Uh, at Christmas time, you'll hear the song about we three kings of Orient are. And they'll sing that and they'll talk about the wise men. Actually, there is no mention in scripture that there was three of them. There is no mention that they were kings. Matter of fact, the actual word that was used denoted a Persian priest or a magician. And some people don't uh, make this connection. I could spend a lot of time on it. I'll just say this quickly and you'll have to go study it out on your own. But I believe that the reason that these men came from Persia, again, we don't know how many there were. I've heard some people say that there could have been 150 of them. We don't know exactly how many they were. But I believe that the reason all of this happened, if you go back to Daniel chapter 1 through 4, I think it's around Daniel chapter 4 verse 9. It talks about that Daniel was promoted to be the head over all of the magicians. Or all of the wise men of Babylon. And you can read that story in the book of Daniel. And then in Daniel chapter 9 verse 25, Daniel had an encounter with Gabriel, the exact angel who appeared to Zacharias. And prophesied the birth of John the Baptist. And the same angel that appeared to Mary in Luke chapter 1 and chapter 2. 
Adete wera bidanti ye malaika yomu Gabrieli e yarabikira Maria muluka emu oluoku bidi. And you'll find out that this same angel Gabriel predicted the birth of the Messiah and gave an exact time. Aete wera bidanti malaika yomu Gabrieli ye ya tebeleza okuzali wa kwa masia na wanobu dobu tufu dala. I forget right now, but I think it's around 490 years or something. Nera bidobu dobu tufu na yewe mbanga jukira ndoza jari ya miaka bina chenda wechito wechito. After the time of Daniel, it was prophesied that the Messiah would come. Oru vanyuma rwebi seraba Danieli buwati unnobo ya kolo vunabi ntimasi ya alija. And so I say all of this to say that Daniel was the head of all of the magicians or the wise men or this word that was used in uh, Matthew's account. Nurecho katibi nobyo nambi ogero kula ganti Daniel yali akuli lava sajaba nobo naba fosa naba sajaba nobo naba gezi gezi. Echi gambe chako zesubwa mumatayo. All of the uh, priests of Babylon. Abobo na bakabona abe babuloni. He prophesied the coming of a Messiah, the king that would rule over all of the earth. Nti yakulo obu nabi oruoku jabu wa masia oyokabaka alifuga ensiyo na. And I believe it was his influence. Iranzi kiliza nti liyali tutumulie. That caused these wise men to, be, to know that the time had come. Iriyali etida abasajaba na abagizu gizi okumanyanti akasera kari katuse. And they were just looking. For a sign. Katibobali bali mukunonya kabonero. Because apparently this star that appeared. Kubangira emunye nyene ya bala bikira. Uh, none of the Jews recognized it. Other people didn't. Terimu yudaya yo na ya tegira munye nyeno obo mtu omulara ye na. Uh, follow it. You know when you see some of these things depicted. Ntiba jitegiri laba jigobedele ne. Singa o tegira ebi ntubino bio na ebi muwe bialo ndibu amu. At Christmas time, they will show this star that was just so bright. It was. Ile ebi kuzo sebwa ube vida gibwa mubi serabia sekukuru. Baja kura ganti mwenye nyeno. Yo yalie ya kaya kana nyo. It was, like it, it was like a floodlight shining down on the exact place. Nga edinga nge chitala echaya kiranga kuchifoche njini. That Jesus was. Awe njini yesu ya zari wa. If that's the way that it would have been, then I can guarantee you everybody would have come. Singa bwe chito bwe chari, mkaka santi uli muntu ye na, yandiba datu uka wawo. To see what this light was, it was shining on the stable and things like that. O kulabira daranti ya wai, chitala chichine chakira, ate kuchiralo chente. And that's not the way that it was. Yata si bwe chito bwe chari. Fire, 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 fire. Can you see we need to win? Oh, why are you going to do that? No, 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 I'm saying, 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 I'm Weba lekuli za programi ya fe ya Gospel Truth. Tukiri zanti owele duwa nyo mkisa okuita mkisome sewa kuno. Mwabango ya gara tusabeko na awe, oboli na HVU zocho na, oboli nombu julizi kwecho katonda chako zo kuita kuprogramu eno. Tukubile ko kunamba za simu zino wa manga. 0 bili 0 0 satu satu 0 0 0 0 Ngambie, eri 0 bili 0 0 satu satu 0 0 0 0 Kuroko wakala kwa katonda kutali koko mojoli, tuogero mkisa kwa katonda, tuogero nkula akulana, ila tuogero kwenye zewa, mulinyari ya mkama fe yesu, uwele duanyo mkisa.